Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Paint with Rick. How's it going? Today, we're doing an oil painting with uh, chip brushes, pan brushes, and hopefully a, a knife. Hopefully you guys know how to use a knife if you're... These are kind of like beginner, beginner videos, so... I always forget that I have to explain everything on every video because you've probably never seen my other videos. So I do use oil paint, not acrylic. This this type of uh, technique will not work with acrylic. But I will be doing some acrylic landscapes soon, so make sure you subscribe. This technique, you need to get a little bit of linseed oil and uh, oil paints. Oil paints for uh, landscapes, all earth tone, brown. This is burnt sienna. I put a little red in it. Yellow ochre, uh, white, of course, blue. Payne's gray, gray. This is uh, sap green in the middle. I mix a little black in it because I the trees will come out darker. Then we lighten them up. And then I mix a little bit of white and sap green here for our distant trees that are in the back so they're a little lighter but let's get started these chip brushes only cost you like 70 cents so that's why i use chip brushes and they're similar to the bob ross brushes i mean they work just like uh, bob ross brushes so but these are cheaper and when they go bad you can just throw them away and get some new ones Let's get started. I'm gonna lay this out real quick. We're gonna we're gonna do our sky first, but I want to make sure our mountain's not too high today. So I'm gonna kind of lay in. I'm gonna offset the peak a little to the right, left here, so I can have bigger trees over here. We'll put like a mountain right in there. I want to have a kind of like a river in here, so. I'm going to kind of lay in a river real quick and then we're going to paint around this river. Uh, we'll run some big trees from here and let's see, maybe we'll have some land here and then down here with some trees coming off here. All right, let's do our sky first. Uh, I'm gonna make a dark sky today. Basically, if you're new to the show, we'll just dip our brush. You keep them saturated with linseed oil. I just put it in a bowl. And then what you'll do is grab your color. I'm gonna start with a dark sky, so right into my uh, Payne's Gray. And we're going to go up to the canvas now. We're going to fill this in just kind of loosely right now. Get some dark color in the sky. And then we're going to put some cool clouds up there. You're going to really like uh, my technique I use for clouds. Really easy. With the same brush, I'm not even going to wipe it. I'm going to grab a little blue get some blue up in here a little more blue just do what I'm doing if you want to paint this we're not a we're not trying to be careful right now. I grab a little titanium white and I'm going to mix it with the bottom of that blue and bring it down to my horizon. Get some more, dip into your linseed oil and let's fill this in with white so we got something to lay our mountain on here. Very good. Put a little white up here in these corners. Let's put a little white in your Payne's Gray so we can blend it. 
just a little. All right, now get a uh, chip brush and designate one for blending. So let's come up here and blend this real quick, just very lightly. And I wear gloves. I keep a paper towel in my left hand, and you'll be you'll have to wipe your brushes quite often when you blend. So just keep a rag in your hand or a paper towel. Let's blend these colors in. And we're gonna run some cool clouds up there. The easy way. Let's see how it's, yeah, no glares. What I did today, I reversed my camera uh, and I pulled it back a bit and uh, it doesn't, the autofocus isn't on so it stays clear so that's a good thing you could come up here and wipe a little bit here and there and then re-blend it to get some different values going on up in there like that if you want all right let's do some clouds <clears throat> so i'm going to use a uh let me get a new brush for this. We we'll use a one inch chip brush, okay? Dip it in your linseed oil and just tap it into some uh, titanium white, okay? We're gonna put our mountain here, so let's, uh, Let's run a cool cloud. Uh, just tap, we're gonna be tapping in just the top part of a cloud, okay? And I'm gonna bring this one kinda up at an angle like this, just the top part of it, just like that. Just the top. Let's get some more paint on your brush. This is an easy way to make clouds. Let's run one kinda coming across here. You're just pushing in the top part right now. Now let's get some more white. Let's run one from here up to the top. Get some more white. A big one up here to the top and then kind of bring it around like this in a circle. Okay, just like that. Now with uh, your paper towel, wipe that brush off and let's come up in here and I'm going to pull this one to the right so it looks like it's blowing from uh, this way, okay? Just pull some of that color to the right. This one here, just pull it down a little bit. We're going to blend them in. And when you blend it in, I guess it's going to soften it up and make it look like a cloud. On this one, just blend this, pull this part up on the top and then pull this one on the bottom here, okay? This is gonna be, look cool, this cloud. We kind of made a circle. And right, now get your uh, blender brush, the one that you use to blend your sky in. And now we're gonna come in here and lightly blend just the, the lower portion of the cloud the part that you pulled, okay? Just barely, barely blend it. You just gotta barely get a brush on it. It takes out your brush strokes and it, it softens the cloud. It actually turns it into a cloud when you blend it. Just like that. And if you're good enough, you can, you know, lightly blend across all the clouds, the tops, if you do it very lightly. There you go. Let's see how that looks. Wow, that's a cool sky. I know you can do it. Now we're going to do a mountain here with the knife. We're just going to do the outline of a mountain 
in black okay just put a little black on your knife like this and I wanted this one to the right a little so what I'm gonna do is put a peak right there I'll put another peak here and maybe one there this one we'll put a few peaks over here and then we'll just bring it down to the side there now with the with any brush just wipe any brush off that you have and let's shape our mountain by uh, pulling this color down this had a little green on it that's all right we're going to cover that mountain with snow so it doesn't matter just pull that mountain down into the color that's underneath. Just like that. Now get your blender brush. Get your blender brush and lightly blend that mountain in. Doesn't have to be perfect because uh, this blender brush is about shot oh here's my blender brush all right yeah if you're uh you got to have a soft new brush when you blend okay so when you get started make sure you're you're using a new chip brush for blending okay all right let's put some snow up there we're going to use the knife i'll show you an easy way to do this with uh, white titanium white you just get a little bit of white on your knife and start on the right side of your peak. And what you're going to do is just pull down. Pull down a little bit to the right. Mostly down. Let's do this peak. Stay to the right of your peak. And pull down. And then, then you can come to the right. Uh once you get down a little ways but pull it straight down that snow straight down okay and each time you do a peak you got to get new uh, white on your uh, knife just like that what i'm going to do is uh, add a little more now so come down here and add a little more snow just to the left of uh, what you already have up there. Just like that. That's good enough. Let's uh, do our shadow color now. I mixed. I already have some mixed up. I mixed a little bit of uh, the blue and the Payne's gray that we used in the sky for our uh, shade color. So everywhere you put the white, you're going to use this darker color now and pull from the white just a little bit to the left okay everywhere you have white this is what creates a dimension on the mountain and you don't have to cover all, all your areas. But this is what makes it look cool. Wherever you have white next to it, a little bit of this color. Just like that. You can leave some of this dark... Uh, you don't have to do every spot like uh, I'm going to do this here to lighten it up a bit because we're going to have dark trees coming across here. Now with your blender brush, let's uh, at the very bottom pull a little bit of this color down just at the bottom of your mountain. Pull it down and then what you're going to do is blend it very lightly wherever you pulled it Just blend it in a little bit 
at the bottom of your mountain. You could blend the side here too. Blend this side to make it look further back. You're blending the sky and the mountain here, okay? All right, that looks good. I'm trying to, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> you know, who's watching yet. This is a fairly new channel. I'm trying to uh, remember that if you guys are new to painting, if I'm, I have to say the correct terms so you understand, I hope I'm doing that. So let's lay in our, uh, our dark colors here uh, so we know where our now let's lay our water in first let's do that let's grab a chip brush uh, and put a little bit of the blue that you used in that sky and let's uh, let's create a river here like a zigzagging river here. Just like that. Get some more blue. We'll widen this out down here around this bend here. Make this all water down in here. Doesn't have to be perfect yet. We're just laying some color in here so we know where our land's going to be. All right, now with your uh, with a fan brush, I hope this fan brush works. It's kind of, I didn't clean it. So. so what I did, I mixed some of the sap green and uh, a little bit of white. And let's run some distant uh, trees uh, behind this uh, river here. And let's bring these trees <clears throat> all the way across about to here. Okay. Just push in this color. Now with your fan brush, take it up here and pull up on that color back there so it looks like uh, distant trees back there. Yeah, if you guys subscribe and you use, uh, if you're acrylic painter, Go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to start doing uh, these in acrylic too. So now take your brush and lightly, right underneath those trees, just pull some of the color underneath those trees. Just like that. Okay. Just rub the color in underneath like that. Very good. Let's grab a chip brush. Let's fill this in here. I think I'm going to fill this in with some yellow ochre. So tap your brush into some yellow ochre. And let's push in some a different color here. Some yellow ochre. You could either push it on or you could scrub it on like this. You could scrub it on, it's quicker. Let it mix with that green up there and pull it down here. You can actually bring this all the way across and let it mix with that underneath your trees, just like that. Let's grab some uh, brown right here. I have a little like, burnt sienna. Let's just make this I call it brown because it is brown. I'll just fill this in with brown here. Take your, uh, wipe your brush off now and uh, let's blend these two colors together here where they come together. 
We're just trying to get some color down on our ground right now. We're not trying to be perfect. Just getting some color down. This over here, I want to use uh, that same green you use for your trees back there. It's lighter than the sap green that we're going to use for our trees. So our trees will show up better. Let's just fill this in with that green color. Same brush. There's still yellow ochre and brown on it, but it, we're getting a nice mixture in there, see? It's just our underpaint here. Just like that. All right, let's grab a brush and let's uh, go over your, your water again just to get the... Uh, edge so you can see the edge of it very good that looks pretty good i like it all right with a chip brush let's use a uh, inch and a half chip brush we're going to put some bushes right here and then run some trees up here so here's that uh, sap green i've got sap green and black mixed i just dip into my linseed oil and then i push into the uh sap green and black okay with some uh get some linseed oil on it let's put some bushes right here just let the the brush do the work for the top part of the bushes okay and we'll reshape them a bit as we go let's just tap that in Let's get a, I'm going to use my big fan brush. It's a, a number eight. So if you want to start painting with me, you could get all the fan brushes from number two up to an eight. It's probably big enough. Let's get some of that uh, sap green and black mixture on it. Let's put a big tree way up in the sky here. I'm just going to tap my trunk up here and then pull it down about halfway there. All right, let's load that brush up with paint on both sides and we're going to push in our branches now with the corner of the brush. Stay small up here and just start pushing in branches really slow. Design your tree as you come down. So stay small up here. Get some more paint. Make sure you got enough paint to finish it down here. And then when you come down here, press a little harder and get bigger with the branches. Okay. And then, then what, what I do is I'll stand back and look at it. And I'll come in here and fill in... Uh, a little more if I want the branches thicker right in here spill it in a bit just like that let's put one right behind it here this one you only have to come down to here because it's going to be smaller and it's behind it so you'll just have to come down part way but just push your branches on and just fill it in there because we're going to highlight it. When we highlight the tree, it'll bring all the branches out, okay? Wow, that's looking good. I really like that. Got bushes down here. Let's take your brush and at the bottom of your bushes, just pull that paint to the right. Just like that. I'll make it look like there's dirt down here on our water. That looks good. We got room for another small one here, see? Because we got, we want to cover, we could cover that mountain with a small tree. I, the more trees you put in on a painting, the better. I haven't been talking about my uh, 
paintings, but I do sell <laughs> quite a few paintings. So this technique works. And I know if you start painting the way I'm painting, you'll, uh, people will want to buy them. So. so get some paint and some brushes and paint with me. <laughs> I think you'll, uh, you'll really uh, like it. All right, cool. That looks good. What we're going to do here, let's uh, grab a chip brush and get some of that uh, uh, sap green and black. And let's, let's put some bushes right here on the edge of the water here. Just like that. Let the see how the brush makes the bushes look cool. Just push it in there, and then pull some of this color back. We'll leave some grass down there, okay, under the bushes. All right, grab your uh, your fan brush. We're gonna put one tree right up here. Uh, I have a smaller fan brush. It's the next size down. I think I think this is a number four. So I'm going to put my uh, brush in linseed oil and grab some uh, sap green and black on both sides. And uh, I'm going to put a tree. I don't want to cover the mountain, so I'm just going to put it just left of this mountain. I'll just tap in a trunk here. Pull it down. And... Uh, I'm going to do a different style tree here where what you do is you push, you stay in the middle and you push in the middle and as you come down you get wider and wider. Just stay in the middle. And then when you get down here you can, uh, you can widen it out a little, okay, when you're done bringing it down. Just a little. I want this one to be skinny. But you got to even it out so it looks cool. There we go. We'll just put one in there so we don't cover up our mountain. All right. I'm going to put a point on here. Just run a point Take your knife right in the middle and then pull up some of the color right up the middle, just a little. Make your points. This is looking good. All right, so now what I want to do, uh, let's, we're going to have to put some of this reflection down here. So with a chip brush, uh, just mimic what's up here on the land in the water here just put some color down in here this is all going to be dark down here so just put some dark in here now get your uh, brush that you used for blending and keep your brush uh, horizontal and lightly blend what's in the water just lightly blend it Try not to hit these bushes here. Just blend that water just like that. That'll be a reflection. And with the knife, we're going to run a water line right here now. So how we do that, just get a little white on your knife. And we're going to follow the, the land here where the brown is. And keep your knife horizontal and you're going to rub that white into it just like that and create a water line. Let's pull a little bit of it out here just like that. Uh, wipe your knife off and get some more white on it just like this. And let's just put a little right here. Just a little. We don't want to ruin our reflection just a little white very good 
Now on the, the river up here, we got to run some white at the bottom of our line, our grass up there. So we can see the river coming down. Let's run some water coming down the river. Just like that. Very good. It's looking good. Let's uh, highlight our trees. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let's see how long we're going. 30 minutes. Not bad. Hopefully some of you that are that already know how to use the brushes are uh, understanding everything. I'm not, I don't think I'm explaining it very well, but hopefully you're getting it. This is probably more of a, uh, a step above beginners. So let's highlight our tree. I just put a little white on my uh, fan brush. And the basic idea is to put uh, white on the right side of our branches and on the top, on the top of uh, each branch, a little bit of this white. We'll do this big tree in the front first because it's it's uh out front so just hit the top part of the tree branches with this white push it into the color so it it mixes with the green let's get some more white but you see how it uh it looks like it has uh, branches now. Let's do this one here. I'll show you. I'll hit the top part of this branch and the top part of this branch and one in the middle here. There's one coming down here. One up here. But you, we want to stay more on the right because the light's coming in this way. Up here, just on the top part of your branches. Highlighting takes a little practice, so because you're going to want to tend to fill the whole thing with white, and you're going to lose all your your dark color. Don't lose all this dark. It's uh, very important, especially at the bottom. You want to leave it dark at the bottom, okay? Because the light is not getting down here. So just think of it as where the sun is hitting. The tree and I think it'll make sense to you uh, I don't care that this uh, video is taking too long but I'll, I'll show you how to highlight these bushes it's pretty much the same way we'll use the same uh, fan brush just get some white on there now say the lights coming in right here okay let's just push a little white right there now it's coming in here let's push a little white there it's coming in here just a little bit there you go that's how you highlight your bushes and you leave some dark on this side okay it's a good way to learn how to highlight uh bushes here and down here we got light coming in this these are a little different so we got we'll just hit the top parts of these here just the top part of the bushes there all right let's highlight that tree over here this will be easy to do all you got to do is run white pretty much down the right side of the tree. Just push it in there with the green. Just like that. It'll make that tree look like it has dimension then. Very good. It's looking good. Down here where the bushes are, just pull a little bit of white at the edge of the bushes there and then blend that in wipe your brush off and uh, then blend that into that color down there 
and then you can pull some of the black out of the the bushes to make it look like a, a shadow down there same thing over here take your brush and pull just underneath your bushes that looks good that's all i'm going to do on this one today i hope you enjoyed that uh i should finish this up here for you uh i'll try and run a water line down there to so well, on, on the edge here, you could either, you could do it uh, this way. You could take your knife and just pull uh, white across from uh, this bend that's turning here. Or uh, the other way is to follow it. I'll do it that way today. It's, it looks good. You could then just... Uh, Just to get uh, a line on this ground over here. Just pull some white out like that. Let's take your, uh, your blender brush. I keep misplacing mine. Take your blender brush and uh, lightly go across your river now lightly blend it very good looks good i usually put a bird up there but i don't have a uh i don't have a small brush and i usually put twigs out here there's other things you can do you could uh you can scratch in your twigs too if you don't have a uh, if you don't have a uh, liner brush, not too many. Just scratch in some twigs and stuff. Okay, and I usually put a couple birds up there, but I don't have a liner brush. All right, guys, give that one a try, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next video. Subscribe. I got some good stuff coming up. So we'll see you. Thanks.